Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. I hope you're all well. Yes, hardest difficulty as well. I just want to quickly show you what I've done. I've started to move a few things, so kind of act as a buffer near the housing zone. So anything that isn't bad desirability, I've moved over. So I've put the basket makers here and we've also got the weaver building over here. Now this hunter's shack is probably going to move at some point as well. And that's opened us up a nice bit of space in here for a bit more industry if we need it as well. I've moved the armory from here to here. Just kind of wet so I know where everything is. Because uh, I do struggle sometimes in this game. I'd like an option to turn on building names above it or something sometimes. But anything that's close basically to that industry wise I have moved. I could move the Fletcher maybe in here as well. Actually. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that Fletcher building there as well. So that gives us a bit more space there. I definitely want to move some more things. But what I, what effectively is doing is meaning that pretty much anything that has value is in, in range of this. Where they try and attack to. So they will get attacked. So we're, we're a bit safer. And then I can get these planks in and, and kind of bring it a little bit closer for the guys where they're at work as well. And I'm going to up the workers where I can on a few different things like the potters. So I'm going to bring that back up to six. Let's check in on our people here. Yeah, it looks a little bit low. Um, down to food, I guess, but that's okay. Let's check in on this as well. Beans, peas, buckwheat, carrot. We're okay for another year there. Food's looking good as well because we started the excavation, didn't we, as well. So, what I'm going to do is have a quick look. There was one well over here that I want to upgrade, so we'll start with that one. And then, we are, are we excavating right now? We are 69, oi oi, 69% on that excavation over there as well. But guys, I just want to say a quick thank you, as always, for watching. I really, really do appreciate you. So, uh, yeah, thank you for that. It, it means the world to me, and I really appreciate the support. If you are new around here, do consider subbing. Right, so, I think... I still want to hold off on the gold, but I definitely wanted to do some decorating. Uh, I think what I want to do is get some of this upgraded, at least. Let's start by getting a... Oh, wow, that's annoying. Um, get a little bit of this done. I'll probably just do that little bit around there. And then this piece here. So what we want to do, potentially... This is going to be gardens anyway here. I've decided I want to do that. And I'll probably also do the same in there. That probably has the ability to have a pub. But I definitely want to start the pub really soon. And the brewery. Um, but I'm not sure if we can accommodate it just yet. Uh, what does it cost to upgrade the barn? 200 planks. I think we need to do that at some point. That can't be done till tier 4, so that's fine. Then we can we can hold off on that. I'm just going to stick to some excavation then. Let's speed it up a little bit here. And that just whilst I see what I can do, I want to see what I can decorate in this little area. I'm trying to think what I want. They're going to be red when they're upgraded as well. Those benches there. I think something in this section here needs to happen. I think I could get a little bit of a small plaza around it. Uh, do we want that with bushes? Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And then, do I want benches there as well? I think all I want is some uh, some small things here. I definitely want a statue, a small statue. Now, where we put that is probably going to be here. And then, that's probably it for now. That is a lot of money we're spending. Let's have a look here as well. We've got bears attacking. All right, we're looking good over here. This is starting to get set up. I am going to put a tower over here as well. So let's get that one done. So I think, to be honest, if we can get up here, that's where it needs to be. Any bears that try and attack them, they'll be good. That's the idea behind it anyway, because the bears are going to be well annoying. Yeah, I've just checked my inventory here. The spices are still here, so they only sell to tier 4 it beers anyway, so that's fine then. So we do have some to get us going as soon as tier 4 is in. Um, with all this gold coming in and out, I'm going to transfer, let's say... Oh, what have we got? Food spoils 25% slower. Oh, I don't know which one's better. Hmm, which one's better? We've got... Villagers get hungry 15% slower. Food spoils 25% slower and village attack damage. Not showing up yet, but I think it's that one down there. I don't know if that one's better or not. We only have one month of spoilage at a time, to be honest. So I think I'll just keep the villagers getting hungry slower. 15%. It's kind of good, isn't it? I'm going to see if I can flatten this and actually get a road up to this. It might not work. Um, we might need to... 
flatten how we do it. Let's try this. I'm going to try and get a road up into this bit here just so they can build that tower. And that's where the gold and iron is going to be at the top as well. Year number 37 though, here we go. I like that it stuff only... So on the old update, you only really got emigrations and stuff uh, during the end of the year. It's quite nice on that front. Right, we're losing again over here. What's the issue? Buckwheat, beans, and peas. Right, let's cancel that. I think we got time to get in a turnip. Yep, do that. Uh, fertilities of it. Naff. Oh, it's not horrendous. We just want to get rid of the disease here. That one's looking good. So what have we got over here? Beans, peas, but we carrot. Right, that's fine as well. That should be gone after this year. Still a good amount of food. I think milling is fine as well. And let's see if there's anything we can bring in ready for the traders here. I'm not sure we've got a lot to kind of sell at the moment. It's a little bit lower than normal. Because cheese isn't that great on the hunger. I'm going to now keep the honey. We've got 282 in there. Have a look here. We've got too many people working at the moment. Let's see what we can sell as well. I definitely want to get these upgrades done on these. I did upgrade that stockyard, as you can see in there. I might move that out. We shall see. This is a good trader right here. Here we go. What have we got? Uh, festering wounds. We don't want that one. There is some iron ore right there, which is probably going to be good to buy. We won't spend loads. Just a, just a little bit there. And let's go. When the tools are reduced, we're not really making too many. So let's buy in some of those. And then uh, let's sell all of this. All of this. And then we're actually in a plus. What else can we get from this? Tempting to buy a couple of heavy weapons. Because we're not going to be making those for a while. Let's uh, buy and transfer those. That makes our thingies really, really strong. And then we'll wait for the, the next ones before we do anything. Uh, those houses are in. Desirability is enough for them to be upgraded straight away already as well. So that's good. We're looking fine. And I think... Yep, food's good. Everything else is looking pretty damn good. Are we making furniture yet? We are, but it's a bit slow. I've always noticed that. They hardly make any. I had to have two maxed out to even get some to sell. I did see the other trader coming. I'm going to go for a third person in the furniture one. We're good on planks, so that's fine. And then, to be honest, I think we need to keep topping this up as well. What have you got? So, flax crop produces 50% more. Not something we need at the moment. Yeah, nothing special from that second trader then. I've just noticed our sand is getting pretty low, so one sand there so we're gonna have to up that i know that we don't have the workers or anything at the moment but it's only because they're going out to here they are able to get up there so that's fine um and that should get stocked with food for anyone that is working out here so we'll probably just have the one soldier in there but we do have the iron ore coming now which is great this might get attacked a fair bit what it does mean though is uh the raiders now aren't going to spawn in this little area they might still spawn at the top. I'm not sure how that will work. We'll have to see. Right, how's our grave looking? I don't know if we've got enough space. Uh, 37. Yeah, we're okay at the moment then. Let's have a look here. So, preserve this building. Do I need to up that even more? Potentially. But, I'm not too concerned on food yet. Let's have a look at these. So, preserve this buildings. This guy, 143. Seven people, please do come in. And then this one produces really, really well. That one's going to start producing pretty well then. 214 population and a third trader. Nice. Right, first of all, though, we want to look at what they have. Shield and hide. I do like that one. Oh, look at this. We need... See, we need to make some money. We need to buy stuff here. Because they're buying bricks at an increased rate. We'd be silly not to, right? Let's just stock up on all that. We'll buy in some stone whilst it's here, so we don't even have to mine it. It's always good to keep that, right? And we'll buy all the hide oats. No, we won't. Right, we'll sell first. There we go, 990. Perfect. we got 4k in our uh, trading post here. I'm going to actually bring out just over a th just around 1,000, and we're good there. And the plazas are now in, so that money's fine. We can continue to decorate with the money we have just earned, and our little statue is in there. Now, this isn't really going to help desirability, but I want to make it look nice around here. Now, these are going to be red. What I'm going to do is have one... Uh, I'm going to have... I don't want a tree there, I think. Let's go earn, earn, and we want maybe the flower bed. I do like them. A flower bed in the middle there. And then I need to probably get rid of this tree. 
and then get something in here. Yeah, I'm going to go with a small garden in there as well. That's cool. New villager born as well. Beautiful. I still want to buffer this bit up, and I want to kind of... This still needs to go. I think once that coal's gone, I'll probably just leave it there, because the 4k will disappear pretty quickly. How is the coal production? Okay, and that increase on sand has helped, so that's good. Now, 22 laborers. I'm trying to think what we do here. So, is that tower in now? It is. So we should have one person in there. Probably worth upgrading anyway. So we'll hit an upgrade on that, and that's basically just going to protect this from the bears and stuff that come in, isn't it? That's going to be nice. I'll probably get a second one there. We're, we're going to sit and defend this late game, I think. And I've just noticed there is boars up there. So that... Oh, that's a long distance to travel for him. But that kind of would make sense to have this one outside. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one as well. So we've got everything done there. That's going to set some traps for that one. Uh, we have our four soldiers. So I'm not going to mess with that just yet. It looks like the three out of four now have the crossbows as well. Because we are creating those. Um, let's move this around. I think this needs to come out. This, although it does store iron ore, I could tell that not to store iron ore, I think. Can we put it in these? Oh, it has to go in those. Okay. I can't see a better way for this, then. What range does that have? You get the stockyards. Because this is kind of counterintuitive for the iron that's being transferred, I feel like. Tell you what, let's go tannery. Because that's a bit gross. We'll move that there. And we'll get this stockyard also upgraded. I'm going to move these guys into this section here. That should be able to fit them both there. Potentially move this Cooper over here as well. I think that's a good idea. Let's go like that. And then it looks like I can get a road around that as well. Just for a tiny bit more efficiency. Let's go like that. Perfect. All right. Winter of year 37, though. I also didn't check how many barrels are being made. I'd like them to go into here because when you're making them, it really does help mass. Oh, they are. They're even less spoilage, so we won't really need the relic, I don't think, for that. It's a shame I can't sell them. All right. So, yeah, with those moved, we'll have a good section there. So I'm going to... We've got a good amount, and that's quite close for these guys, and it's slightly closer for the iron guys to travel over. That is a long way for them to bring that across, though, I'll be honest, from the iron mine. Um, so I'm not sure how you'd go about doing that. I think, first of all, you go about upgrading these to stone roads for a start. I'm going to do the same over here as well. I like that we've gone for the more natural look on the roads. Definitely gives it something a bit more messes with what you can fit but it just looks nicer and there we go all right that is in so that's starting to look quite nice i think so this guy here can be upgraded straight away so what's going to happen that's actually going to affect these uh, houses a little bit which is great but what we can do here is we can base do i move this I feel like i want to move this again not happy with that you see how it's offset from that kind of bugging me yeah i'm moving it Right, uh, let's go. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll wait for this house to be upgraded. I'm going to move this in. I'm going to move this house over. I'm going to move this in. And then we're going to set up a bit more garden space here. These guys obviously can be upgraded and stuff, which is kind of handy as well. Um, yeah, let, and let's go ahead and get some more items in where we can. So pottery, I'll keep getting that in. Let's see. Bricks, we still have so many of them. So let's get some more in. Uh, I think we, we can chill on that at the moment. Let's have a look. 41. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, so, 41. Let's sound the bell. Just noticed that we didn't upgrade that gate as well. I'm going to potentially... Bring the combat area for the soldiers. Let's get them, like, over here for now. Those four soldiers will be pretty damn strong. Because they're quite geared. Nice uh, animal livestock being born as well. Um, that gives us enough time, I think. They're all low level. It's a lot, though. It's a big number. See, even if I had one tower over here, it wouldn't do a lot against this. Almost pointless having this, I feel. Building. I don't want to put anyone in there yet. Sorry, guys. I get back to my battle. Thank you. Right, in they come then. Let's see what happens here. So, 
They're probably going to start attacking the villagers, unfortunately, but the shots should be good from this and take them down pretty quick. Oh, yeah, we're ripping them down straight away. Keep this open. And there's my soldiers there. See that? Oh, they're getting stuck in. Oh, yes. Look at them go. Oh, absolute beast, look. Yeah, no mess in here. They absolutely shred. I love it. They're so strong. Yeah, soldiers are the way to go. Yeah, so good. Okay, perfect. And this guy here has stopped them getting anything from the marketplace, I think. I don't know if they've taken anything. Okay, are we being raided again? No. I don't even know. All right, we're looking good, though. I think we dealt with that very, very quickly and easily. So we'll get these guys to... Yeah, we stopped him there. Look, he was taking all of our good stuff there. Yeah, I think we potentially then... It might make sense to have the barracks moved this way. Or we get a second barracks. I would say over here. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I think we... Because we're building over here, it should force the spawns to be more likely to be over this way. We'll have to see over the next couple if it does work that way. And if that is the case, we'll uh, we'll move the barracks over this way. For the time being, we will keep the animals out with that, though. That's the, pretty much the only reason we have that. But yeah, pretty straightforward defense there. I'm quite happy with that. And we've got room for something in here. There's another trader coming in. I'm trying to think what we put in here. To be honest, if we were being sensible or if we wanted to, we could get some of this stuff in. But I don't think it matters too much. I think what is a good idea would be moving this in with the other planks here. And then we'll check in on this guy when he comes. So we've got cheese from this. He has a lot of money. It feels bad not buying anything, you know. I think we're going to slowly buy in spices when we can as well. And to be honest, because he's here, I'm just going to sell. I bet this one's selling better now. What's this guy got? Flax. Yeah, this one, I was thinking this soldier upkeep. When you've got loads of soldiers, that's going to be a really, really strong relic. But for the time being, I don't think it is. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do with this one. That is such a shame. These These guys always have so much gold. So we need to kind of get maybe on one of these. I don't think we can get onto the production of these yet. All right, village was raided. We killed 38 of the 41. Perfectly fine. And I'm going to go ahead and see what's going on here. Oh my god, beans, peas, buckwheat, carrot. Oh no. You need to go. Uh, buckwheat, beans, peas. How did this get so bad? Uh... Get one of these guys in. Is that one okay? That is okay. That time of year. Let's go with that. So they'll start the leaks instead. Uh, I don't think we're going to be okay with that one either. So we're going to need something else. Beans, peas, buckwheat, carrot. Let's go turnips. That'll do nicely. They have a good frost tolerance. So Fine. 218 on the population as well. Looking good. All right. Let's speed this up again. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy and safe with this. I think we should have... The guy's staying in here from the tower and potentially the mines. Uh, with that being out there and when we start upgrading that, we are going to need a wagon shop. And I think I'll just stick another one out here. So we'll probably get one over here. If I read the description, I, I am using those right. Goods from mines, pits and work camps to town storage. Yeah, so wagon shop. I guess because it doesn't really matter where it is, but because it's got to come this way, we may as well have them over here. Um, these will be relatively idle until later when we build the second mines, but I'm thinking we move that over then. We probably need more grain and food storage over here. It's going to be the little food area, I think. And then we need to look at brewery. Oh, I just don't have the population just yet to do that. But it will ramp up our gold production here. But yeah, I'm happy with how the theatre's starting to look here. Once these upgrade, these benches will look a lot nicer, I think. And then I can fit something else in here. Maybe some more benches, actually. Yeah, that's that's going to be what we do. Uh, I'm just going to slow it down. Is that the corner one? Corner. All right, let's go for... 
a bit of a corner setup here on benches. I could probably do the same there. Nice seating area. Good thing with those is they get flower on them as well, so the flowers, so that'll look really nice. Um, we have here. Hey, someone that's. Right, first of all, relic. Blacksmiths and armories. No. More tools there. We don't have to get through some tools. Do we have flax here? We've got 636. We had a good year for that, didn't we? So, we could probably go back to 7 on that. We'll start increasing. Alright, this house has been upgraded, so let's get this one moved over. Um, so, we're going to have to focus... This needs to be somewhere where desirability is going to be okay. To be honest, I think I'm going to have to just go in here for now. Let's just plonk it. Let's go there. We'll get that one prioritised. And we'll get a, sec a fourth worker on that one. I want to move this over one. Do I want it over one or two or all the way? I'm not sure how I want that yet. I'll move it over one and see how it looks. Because once that one upgrades, it'll look quite nice, I think, with the plaza around it. I do like it, though. It's starting to come along really, really nicely. It looks beautiful. I think I need to probably set a harvest over here as well. I don't really need stones for the time being, but I think I want to... Get a little bit of that buffering for when they've got nothing else to do. Um, it's probably a good idea. And let's check in over here as well. So that one still hasn't upgraded. They're very busy. Get all that upgraded as well. I've just noticed that there's... It literally has everything. This is just nuts, isn't it? I feel like a small village over here would make sense, wouldn't it? Oak tree stump. I was looking at the mushrooms on that. That looks cool. Alright, house has moved. So let's see. Uh, that's still going to look weird, isn't it? Do we just whack the flagpole there? I'll do something with this. So I'll plaza this bit. This is going to help. And then when we've got something in here, this is going to help all the houses by moving it there, I guess. Um, I'm just not happy with that being next to this garden, if I'm honest. What kind of trees do we have along here as well? I kind of want just these guys. I want another ornamental tree in that corner, for sure. And then I'll figure out what I want to do in the middle. I can see... Wow, another trader coming in. Not that we have anything to sell to you, but we can try and make a bit more cash. And they're chopping away nicely. The bench corner benches are in. This one has a desirability issue now. Um, so that's going to... They're going to complain a little bit there. I don't know why, because they've got all of this next to them. Just slap down a little urn there or something once that's done. That might be because we're moving that. We'll see. Let's go with that, though. And let's check in on this last one here. We need a, a heavy tool there, it looks like, as well. Finally, something. All right, what have you got? Anything special for me? Uh, reduced rate on the hides. We'll buy all of those. We're going to sell all of the pottery to you. That's a good one. And it looks like all the baskets that we can. We can do up to 600. That'll do. I think this needs to move over to these guys as well. I do have it in the middle there. The Blacksmith Forge, though, we have run out. So I'm going to bring this down now. So we're going to try and get more heavy tools in. Because we're currently not smelting anything now. We've ran out. I could just buy one in. Ten oh, no, I can't. The trade is gone now. So that's fine then. Um... All right, that's fine. We have eight months of food in the year 38 as well. So whatever we're doing on the farm is pretty good at the moment. I think we're about to get a batch of leek over there. The obviously not as good as they can be at the moment. And it's all down to um, the fertility. So we need to probably get that up. So negative factors minus 514. That's a lot to lose, isn't it? So maybe... We do work on this. I think we can afford to get a clover in there. How are we looking on wheat? 805. Have we got any next year doing that? We don't. So I think we need to chill on that then. Um, what's going to be good here is this fertility is going to go up from this. And that should increase this to almost max. And then we'll be good. So really I want to get around 70-ish fertility. Later, later game it is a little bit easier to do that. Um, that's being moved. This is also being done. I'm going to move this over. I love that. So much better now that's moved. So we're going to have a good little section here. I think what we'll do in this bit is... What have we got? We're going to stick with the juniper bushes here, I think. It's tricky to uh, how to figure this one out, though. 
going to try and go along the road where I can. We'll see how that looks. And then we'll fill in the gaps with plazas, potentially. Um, I think we can do that. I'm, it might not look the greatest. We'll see. I'm going to see how it looks once it's all down. And then we need to figure out what we're going to do over here. I think more... I think I want some plazas, though, from that bit. So it looks like the plaza entering the garden. And then it also joins up with this when it's upgraded. That's going to look a lot nicer. And we'll also do the same in this bit here, actually. So let's go one there. There, there. I'll probably leave this here. And we're going to go juniper. Juniper. So it's kind of like a row. And I might put some more benches in there. I think that might be a good idea. I think the way these look is pretty nice, actually. Let's do that. Just rotate so they're all in the middle. I think you can appreciate that. And that's going to be our little theatre area, I think. Pretty much it. Is that a slot that I can fill in? It's not. Okay. Cool. So we'll wait for all that to be done. I think it'll look quite nice when it is done, though. All right, with the iron and stuff that we have in, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade one of these whilst they're in here. Just because, uh, so I don't have to worry about it later. And while we've got the spare at the moment, we're going to get that done. Um, liking what we've done over here, it's looking much better though. We've got a lot more space, a lot more to work with, so that's good. Um, I think beer... Where's our honey being stored? I think it's over here. Yeah. I feel like beer production might be able to squeeze in over here. The shrine could get moved. Yeah, let's go there with the shrine. We'll, uh, we'll prioritize that one. And then we'll get beer production potentially in here. This needs upgrading. I've just noticed there is a tiny bit of road there that is doing nothing. So let's get rid of that. Oh no, it is doing something. All right. There we go. We'll connect it that way. All right. A villager emigrated and three born with 226 on the population as well. I've just put a little garden and upgraded that to uh, fix this. So I'd rather it not downgrade right now. Um, and then it'll be ready anyway. And uh, that's going to help when we have other stuff in. I think I can get a going to be bakery and pub potentially. I don't think I need a school there. School will be in the next one. Maybe this area here. Although this is also a very nice bit. We've got sand and two coals that are infinite. There he goes. Look, the man in the wagon. Our Wainwright Leon is stocking up everything over here. It's weird because these are always unfilled but they will use them. I, I don't know how it works to be honest with you. This guy's going to pretty much do nothing. He's just going to protect from bears. There we go. That house is okay now. We just got it with upgrading that one. Just looking, we still haven't got that heavy tool. We need to get that. There is one in stock, so they need to uh, get that one over there, really. There you go. Stocking heavy tools. It is going in. Perfect. We should be good on that and smelting up again. And there it is. Beautiful. Year number 39, Predator attacking. And it's out there. And I think my hunter wins every single time against it now, which is really, really nice. And there it is, the upgraded stockyard. Look at this beauty. Warehouse, sorry. Nice, that's good. Uh, honey does store in these as well, actually. I don't know whether to untick that, actually, from both of those. We kind of want this over here, don't we? Perfect, right, we're all good. But guys, that's going to be where we end this one out. So, as always, please do smash that thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, consider subbing as well. I hope you're still enjoying the series as much as me. And if you want to help me that little bit extra and name any characters after you, do consider becoming a member of the channel as well. As always, guys, do take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.